Hello students, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will be studying about the types of data communication that are possible in the real world. So there are three types of data communication. The first is simplex communication, second is half duplex and the third is full duplex communication. So let us see what are the three types and how are they different from each other. Starting with simplex communication. When we talk about simplex communication, it is the simplest form. So uh, in this simplex communication, what happens is you have a sender, say A, and you have a receiver, say B. And there is a communication link and the data is being sent from A, who is the sender, to the receiver B. Now, simplex communication says that data or message will be sent only in one direction. Okay, So, it is a unidirectional way. That means one way communication is happening. Okay, So, just like you can imagine that your boss gives the instructions and you listen to it and it will be always like that. The boss will always give you instruction and you cannot instruct your boss in normal cases. So, it is a unidirectional communication that is happening between two devices and in this kind of communication, the roles of the two devices are always fixed. So, one device will always be the sender and the second device will always be the receiver. These roles are fixed. So, if A and B are doing simplex communication, the data will always be sent from A to B. B will never send the data. He will never become the sender. He will always be the receiver. Okay. So, if the data is being sent only by one party in one direction, then the entire capacity of the transmission medium or of the link that they are using will be utilized for this purpose because there is only one thing that is happening that is data being sent from A to B. Okay, so the capacity of the link is not shared or it is not broken down as it is in the case of full duplex or half duplex connections. Okay. Now, this uh, in example of simplex communication is a TV remote. So, uh, like uh, just as I said in the example of boss and employee, a TV remote will always be the sender and the television will always be the receiver of the signal. So, television remote is sending a signal to the uh, television which is being caught, which is being received by the television. Okay, And this communication will always be unidirectional. It will happen in one way only. So that is a very common example of simplex communication. Similarly, uh, when you send a command from your computer to a printer, that is also a simplex communication in the sense that commands will always be sent from the computer to the printer for printing. Okay. Now coming to half duplex communication which is the second kind of communication that is possible and in this case half duplex basically means that there are two parties A and B again and the communication that is happening between them is two way that means both A and B can send and receive data but at one time only one of them will be sending and the other will be receiving and the at the other time the uh, other person can send or receive. So it basically means that uh, in half duplex communication you can it is like uh, uh, two friends who, who are talking or two colleagues. So at any point of time uh, one can speak and at the same time uh, at other given point, the other can speak. Okay, so uh, it is also there is also an example of walkie-talkie. When you say something in a walkie-talkie, you uh, you tell what is happening, you give some information, and you say over and out. And then the other person, the other person's walkie-talkie allows him or her to give the message. So both the devices can send data as well as receive data, but at any given point of time, only one directional communication will be happening. It cannot happen that at the same time both the devices are sending data to each other. Otherwise, it will result into a collision. Collision means their data 
uh, if data is coming from A to B as well as from B to A, the data will get garbage. It, uh, garbage values will be created. The original message can be lost. Okay. So, a uh, half duplex is less strict as compared to simplex communication, but it, there is still a better version which is the duplex or full duplex communication. Now, full duplex also allows bidirectional communication. That means, again, if A and B are two communicating parties, A can send data as well as receive data, but in full duplex, a can send and receive data at the same time, okay? So, half duplex was happening at two different times. A was being the sender at one time and at some other point of time, A was the receiver. But in simplex, both way communication can happen simultaneously. So, in this case, we generally have two different media, two different channels to send and receive data in different directions. So, uh, generally what happens is if there are uh, two parties A and B, one channel is reserved for communication from A to B and the second transmission channel is reserved for communication from B to A. Or the other way is there is a single channel and the capacity of that channel is shared. So, uh, certain, uh, certain frequencies are reserved for sending uh, data from A to B and the remaining frequencies send data in the different opposite direction, okay? So, this is how the data gets communicated from A to B simultaneously with the data that is coming from B to A and the data does not get garbled because their communication medium has been separated. Either they are physically separate, either they are physically two different wires or their, their bandwidth has been separate. So, that is why a larger capacity or a larger bandwidth allows you to make slots or divisions in your channel. That if you have a bandwidth of say 80 hertz to 100 hertz, then you can reserve the frequencies from 80 to 90 will be used for uh, A to B communication and the frequencies from 90 to 100 hertz will carry the bits from B to A communication. So, in this way, different frequencies are performing different function. So, they will not get garbled, okay? So, these were the three types of communications that can happen. The half duplex, full duplex and simplex. And in the case of full duplex, uh, the simplest example is mobile phone. So, if you call someone, if he or she is talking, you can also talk at the same time. Uh, that is different that to both uh, not, you might not be able to understand, but the voice will clearly reach the other person. Or in the case of video call, you can also... Uh, say something, the other person can also say, the signal is reaching. Now, your brain can process it or not, that is out of the scope of data communication. So, that's all for today's video. I hope you have understood all the three different types of communication. Thank you for watching. Till we meet in the next video, mind your exam.